Welcome to Spybrary. By spy fans, for spy fans. With Shane Whaley. Shane dives into the mystery and intrigue of spy books and movies. Both fact and fiction. Delivering reviews and interviews with authors, historians, intelligence experts, and spy fans. He discusses everything from John le Carre, Len Dayton, Ian Fleming, Tom Clancy, Brad Thor, and many more. If you love spy books and movies, keep listening. This podcast is for you. This is Spybrary. It's a brush pass, quick and simple. You are listening to Brush Pass on Spybrary. Quick reviews sent in by spy fans for spy fans. Hi Spybury, I'm Andy Onyx and this is my Brush Pass review of A Small Town in Germany by John Le Carre. Comparing books to music, as I often do, I'd class A Small Town in Germany as Le Carre's difficult second album, the one that follows the breakthrough into the mainstream, which in his case was the spy that came in from the cold, but preceding the big hit of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. George Smiley doesn't feature here, the main protagonist being SIS officer Alan Turner, a youngish northerner from humble origins who is called in from London to investigate the disappearance of top secret files and locate the suspect, one Leo Harting. The events take place around the British Embassy in Bonn in the summer of 1968, as flower power went to seed to be replaced by street fighting men and student protests. Britain is cast as the sick man of Europe at this point, with the government desperate to gain entry into the EU and dependent on the support of West Germany to do so. But stability is threatened by the rise of millionaire industrialist turned populist leader Klaus Karfeld, who appears to be on the threshold of power. His party, the movement, draws on nationalist rhetoric but favours closer relations with the USSR rather than the EU and NATO. With his brash-in-your-face attitude, Turner seems like a prototype for Gene Hunt from BBC's Life on Mars and Ashes to Ashes series. In an age long before political correctness arrived, Turner goes for the jugular in his interrogations of the staff from the top down, with no insinuation held back as he joins the dots in his hunt for Harting and the files. But who exactly is Leo Harting? This is a question that none of the staff can seem to fully answer. On the surface, he's a bit of a greyish outsider on the fringes of the diplomatic community, tolerated but not particularly liked. But Turner's investigation pulls the facets together and he finds what seems to be a simple case of defection has far more sinister links with potentially severe political consequences. All this makes a small town in Germany a riveting and timely read in light of the current situation in Europe today. I'm Andy Onyx, the author of Dadless. You can find me at AndyOnyx1 on Twitter and at my website, andyonyx.co.uk. Thank you. Can you pull off a brush pass? Send in your review to Shane at spybrary.com. Thanks for listening to the Spybrary Podcast. You don't have to wait for the next episode. Join the conversation happening now at facebook.com slash spybrary. And on Twitter at spybrary.